and today I got this in the mail, and this is an Xbox 360 adapter, or for Xbox One controllers, or whatever controllers you have. And I'm going to teach you, this says um, a PC wireless gaming receiver. If you guys want to buy this, this will be in the description. I will have a link for eBay and Amazon. So, um, with that being said, it's for PC, but I have a way to get it on Mac. And yes, I do have a way of getting it on Yosemite, because a lot of the tutorials I've been seeing are only for Snow Leopard, and a lot of them aren't compatible. So with this, I'm going to teach you how to do it today, to work with this. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Hey guys, so we are back on the computer now, and what I have pulled up right now is um, an Amazon... Um, what you basically need to purchase if you want a wireless um, controller to be adapted. But this also works with wired, and you don't have to buy the adapters. I have um, I have it listed here again. So, um, yeah. So, with this being said, I have Amazon and eBay. Both will be in the link, so you guys can decide which one you want. So, um, yeah, with that being said, we're, we'll get right into it. So first, you want to go to the link I have in the description, and you will automatically get, with the link, this installed to your computer. Now, yes, you do need this um, 0 0.15 uh, beta for, your, for it to work with Yosemite. So, with that being said, you just want to install it, and when you install it, it should come up, you can do all this and that. It should just come up with this. Now, if you run it, I have it installed already. So just go through all this, install it. It might take a bit. And then what you want to do right after is restart your computer. Yes, this is mandatory. And then once your computer is restarted, the installer should be in system preferences when you open up down here where it says Xbox 360 controllers. So now what you want to do is you want to click it. So up here you'll notice um, my screen may be a little different than yours unless yours looks like mine. There's no devices found. Now if you have a wired controller, you can just plug it into the back of your Mac or computer and then it'll automatically be found and then from there you can go. But for wireless, with this little device you have, let me go ahead and plug it in. And now that it's plugged in, it should be searching for devices. So now I'm going to take my Xbox 360 controller, and I'm going to go to the adapter. And you know the little sync buttons, how you sync them to your Xbox? You're just going to want to hold that down with um, the thing, and just until it starts circling and the uh, green light on the adapter is blinking, then they should meet up. So I'm going to do that right now, and as you can see, it worked. So right here it says wireless X360 controller, and it's wireless. So if I press X, Y, B, all this stuff, and move around the joysticks, and yeah. Um, yeah, so now that you have your controller hooked up, now it's not going to work for your computer straight away. Now you can have binding, yeah, you can have all this, this. I don't mess with this necessarily. So now that your Xbox 360 controller is hooked up, we are on, we, you are going to need this app called Joystick Mapper, and it's $4.99 in the Mac App Store. And unless you find a way to get this for free or you, um, you get a different program to use, this is the most simplest, uh, program. So here's what you do. When you download it, you're gonna wanna open it, and you're gonna wanna open that. So as you can see, I have a preset now. So let's just get a game. Um, how about Minecraft? I'll show you uh, Minecraft. So let me get that loaded up, and then I'll show you how this works. So I loaded up Minecraft, and as you can see, it's a normal Minecraft world. I can mine, and I can jump, and I, I'm using my mouse and keyboard right now. Um, as you can see behind it, let me see if I can get this into view. Um, as you can see, I'm not moving any of the buttons. Now I am, and it's not doing anything. See, I can press all these, and none of them will do. But with Joystick Mapper, what this will do is you can click Add a New Preset. 
name the preset. So I'm going to name this Minecraft and just leave the, I don't know what to put the tag. So I'm just going to put the company name. Um, so that's to name your preset and then you click add a new joystick. So this is joystick um, zero. This is what your main one's going to be. So what you want to do is you want to add a new bind. So then this is basically where everything happens. So first I want to make myself uh, jump. So then I would scan for it and I would press the button I want for jump. And then let me make sure. And then it automatically finds that button and it sorts it for you. Now to jump, it's a keyboard key and we need to go to space. So then once you're done making all your binds and all your custom things, and yes, these do have to be aligned with the controls you have in your Minecraft settings, you can just click this little X button and check this off. So now check this out. Now I'm pressing A and I'm jumping. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna teach you now how to move up and down so you guys don't get confused. So I'm gonna add a new bind and I'm gonna do up and I'm gonna do a mouse motion and it's gonna be up and I'm gonna move my sensitivity up. Now this is just sensitivity. So if I wanna look up and down, I would simply add a new bind, scan for button, pull it down, mouse motion, down and you can have whatever sensitivity you like on it okay activate it here we go so now we are looking up and down even though this is the wrong controls um let me fix that real quick and this is really easy to fix you can just go back in here and you can scan it up is this one and up down is that one so then let's try it now No, oh, oh yeah, I forgot to activate it, sorry. So use this preset. And I forgot to activate it once again. Sorry guys. All right, use this preset. Now we can look up and down and you can change your sensitivity and stuff. You can jump now. Um, to move forward, there's gonna be a whole nother video for this, but I, I'm just giving you guys the basics, so to move forward, you'd click the bind you want, mouse motion, um, we would go, we wouldn't move. So this would be a key, yeah. So if we wanted to move forward, the key I use is W. So then, let's try it out. Now we're moving. So now we can see and do all this stuff and move forward. So it's not really useful right now. As you can see, I can't dig or anything. So let's just add a digging motion. Add a new ding. We're gonna use Y as digging because I haven't had much success with the thing, probably because I use different keys. Um, so whatever your hit button is, okay? And then, ooh, turn it on. Get out of this, Y. As you can see, um, it's why, let me get down from here using my keyboard. You can just hit. So as you can see, you can move, you, can, you can't move back and forth, that'd be really, I, I haven't set that up yet, but as you can see, you can look up and down, and yeah. So that's basically all you have to do, and you can add as many presets as you want, and then that's all you have to do. So if you guys want me to um, make a binding video of everything for um, just just the binding video, um, maybe not that, but maybe I'll add it to the end, an external link. If you guys wanna know how to bind Minecraft controllers if you, if you guys uh, play Minecraft. So then with that being said, I'll see you guys later, and um, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe for more, and see you guys. Bye.